Fourth Council of Constantinople, Eastern Orthodox. The Fourth Council of Constantinople was held in 879 to 880. It confirmed the reinstatement of Phocius as Patriarch of Constantinople. It has been accepted by handful Eastern Orthodox as an Eighth Ecumenical Council. The Council settled the dispute that had broken out after the deposition of Ignatius as Patriarch of Constantinople in 858. Ignatius, himself appointed to his office in an uncanonical manner, opposed Caesar Bardas, who had deposed the regent Theodora. In response, Bardas' nephew, the youthful Emperor Michael III engineered Ignatius's deposition and confinement on the charge of treason. The patriarchal throne was filled with Phocius, a renowned scholar and kinsman of Bardas. The deposition of Ignatius without a formal ecclesiastical trial and the sudden promotion of Photios caused scandal in the Church. Pope Nicholas I and the Western bishops took up the cause of Ignatius and condemned Photios' election as uncanonical. In 863, at a synod in Rome the Pope deposed Photios, and reappointed Ignatius as the rightful patriarch. However, Photius enjoined the support of the Emperor and responded by calling a council and excommunicating the Pope. This state of affairs changed when Phocius's patrons, Bardas and Emperor Michael III, were murdered in 866 and 867, respectively, by Basil the Macedonian, who now usurped the throne. Photios was deposed as patriarch, not so much because he was a protege of Bardas and Michael, but because Basil was seeking an alliance with the Pope and the Western Emperor. Photios was removed from his office and banished about the end of September 867, and Ignatius was reinstated on 23rd of November. Photios was condemned by a council held at Constantinople from 5th of October 869 to 28th of February 870. Photius was deposed and barred from the patriarchal office, while Ignatius was reinstated. After the death of Ignatius in 877, the emperor made Photius again patriarch of Constantinople. Another council was convened in 879, held at Constantinople comprising the representatives of all the five patriarchates, including that of Rome, all in all 383 bishops. A. Edward Sieschinski writes, In 879 the emperor called for another council to meet in Constantinople in the hopes that the new pope, John VIII, 872-882, would recognize the validity of Phocius's claim upon the patriarchate. This council, sometimes called the Eighth Ecumenical in the East was attended by the papal legates, who had brought with them a gift from the Pope, a pallium for Phocius, and by over 400 bishops, and who immediately confirmed Phocius as rightful patriarch. The granting of a pallium is a sign of papal approval and the Pope's legates immediately confirmed Phocius without awaiting a decision of the Council. The Council also implicitly condemned the addition of the filioque to the Nicene Constantinopolitan Creed, an addition rejected at that time in Rome. The creed, without the filioque, was right out in a condemnation pronounced against those who impose on it their own invented phrases, delta alpha sigma epsilon rho epsilon sigma iota omicron lambda omicron gamma alpha iota sigma and put this forth as a common lesson to the faithful or to those who return from some kind of heresy and display the audacity to falsify completely. Kappa Alpha Tau Alpha Kappa Iota Beta Delta Eta Lambda Epsilon Sigma Alpha Iota Pi Omicron Eta Rho Alpha Sigma Upsilon Nu Theta Epsilon Eta, the antiquity of this sacred and venerable Horas, rule, with illegitimate words, or additions, or subtractions. Eastern Orthodox Christians argue that thereby the Council condemned not only the addition of the filioque clause to the Creed but also denounced the clause as heretical, a view strongly espoused by Phocius in his polemics against Rome while Roman Catholics separate the two and insist on the theological orthodoxy of the clause. According to non-Catholic Philip Schaff, to the Greek Acts was afterwards added a, pretended, letter of Pope John VIII. to Phocius, declaring the filioque to be an addition which is rejected by the Church of Rome, and a blasphemy which must be abolished calmly and by degrees. Whether and how far the Council was confirmed by Pope John VIII is also a matter of dispute, the Council was held in the presence of papal legates who approved of the proceedings, Roman Catholic historian Father Francis D. Bornick argues that Pope accepted the acts of the Council and annulled those of the Council of 869-870. Other Catholic historians, such as Warren Carroll, dispute this view, arguing that the Pope rejected the Council. Sieschinski says that the Pope gave only a qualified assent to the acts of the Council. Philip Schaff opines that the Pope, deceived by his legates about the actual proceedings, first applauded the emperor but later denounced the council. In any case, the pope had already accepted the reinstatement of Phocius as patriarch. However, later, 
in the wake of further conflicts between East and West in the 11th century, the council was repudiated. On 8 March 870, three days after the end of the council, the papal and eastern delegates met with the Bulgarian ambassadors led by the Cobb and Peter to decide the status of the Bulgarian Orthodox Church. Since the Bulgarians were not satisfied with the positions of the Pope after prolonged negotiations, they reached favorable agreement with the Byzantines and the decision was taken that the Bulgarian Church should become Eastern Orthodox. The Photian Schism, 863-867, that led to the Councils of 869 and 879 represents a break between East and West. While the previous seven ecumenical councils are recognized as ecumenical and authoritative by both East and West, many Eastern Orthodox Christians recognize the Council of 879 as the Eighth Ecumenical Council, arguing that it annulled the earlier one. This council is referred to as ecumenical in the encyclical of the Eastern Patriarchs of 1848. The Roman Catholic Church, however, recognizes the Council of 869 as the Eighth Ecumenical Council and does not place the later council among ecumenical councils. At the time that these councils were being held, this division was not entirely apparent. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.